Welcome to the Security Speakeasy Show, where we talk all things network security. Today, we'll be covering the evolution of the firewall, and we found the perfect person to talk to. I'm Sam from the marketing team at Palo Alto Networks, and joining me today is Craig. Craig, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Excited to be here. Awesome. Craig is the technical marketing engineer for the Palo Alto Network's Next Generation Firewall team. Craig, can you briefly describe what you do at Palo Alto Networks and how you got into this career? Yeah. So technical marketing engineers um, are part of the product management organization. Um, we work on basically like field enablement, um, a lot of customer facing conversations about the problems that they face and how our product can, can solve them. Um, I got into this from tech. I was actually a customer to begin with, um, started working in support for a few years and then moved over to product management. That's awesome. Well, it sounds like you have a lot of experience with firewalls. Let's talk about their history. Can you tell me what firewalls actually do and walk me through the history and evolution of the firewall? Yeah, so firewalls are, they're really about control, right? Being able to make a decision whether or not to forward traffic based on some information. Traditionally, that information has been IP address and port number. Um, so back in the, the 80s, the late 80s, um, firewalls were basically just packet filters where you would write some rules that said this IP and this port are allowed to speak to these IPs and these ports. Um, over time, we, <clears throat> we kind of came to realize that that wasn't enough when we started tracking the state of the connection. So you might have heard the term stateful inspection or stateful firewall. And that was kind of the second generation where we would track the, the state of a, of a TCP connection. Uh, and then Palo Alto Networks um, came along with the next generation firewall. And the next generation firewall is really about um, increasing the amount of information that you can make a, a security decision um, based on, right? So traditionally that was port and protocol. With the next generation firewall, we can make those forwarding decisions based on things like user, like who's generating traffic or even what the traffic actually is. So we can differentiate between um, say web browsing or FTP or Netflix. So Craig, what is the difference between a traditional firewall and a next generation firewall? So the difference is in the, uh, it's kind of twofold. The first I, I kind of talked about, um, it's the information that you can make forwarding decisions based on. And this is a, actually a really big deal. So with traditional like layer four firewalls, even if they're stateful, I can write a policy where my intent is to allow web browsing, right? And I can write this policy that says, let my internal IP addresses speak to the internet based you know, on port 80. And the idea, the business intent there is to allow my, my users internet access. <clears throat> but there's nothing that keeps me from running any given application over port 80. And this represents a, a fairly significant security risk to, to the uh, enterprise. With the next generation firewall, rather than just relying on metadata or you know, header information about, about the traffic, things like IP and port, we actually take a look at the payload of the packet and profile that traffic so that you can control and ensure that it is only web browsing traffic and not somebody using FTP, for example, to steal all of your data over port 80. The other thing that differentiates the next generation firewall is being able to layer on top of that control, um, advanced threat and, and uh, control features. So things like URL filtering, um, vulnerability protection, antivirus, doing all of those on one appliance and doing it efficiently is what makes the next generation firewall a next generation firewall. That's great, thanks for that. Um, and I think that's a great, uh, place to transition to talking about uh, the operating system, PanOS. Uh, PanOS is the operating system that runs on our firewalls and the acronym actually stands for Palo Alto Networks Operating System. Craig, can you tell me what problems are we trying to solve with our operating system? Absolutely, so <clears throat> PanOS is, like you mentioned, the, the software that runs on the, the next generation firewall. The specific problems that we were trying to solve uh, when you know Palo Alto Networks first built PanOS was that we saw this gaping need <clears throat> for that, that deeper inspection, right? Being able to differentiate um, and control traffic based on application 
based on user, based on content. So kind of a multi-dimensional approach to controlling um, what traffic traverses your firewall. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of the primary purpose of, of PanelOS, what we were trying to solve, how we solved it, and being able to do all of those things in a performant way um, is what makes, you know, Palo Alto Firewalls, Palo Alto Firewalls. Thanks, Craig. And Craig, it was great having you on the show. Um, if you want to learn more about the challenges that PanOS solves, join us for future episodes where we'll talk about single pass architecture. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the show, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, and visit us at paloaltonetworks.com. See you on the next episode.